Good morning and welcome to ASP.NET tutorial. In this class, we have learned how to fix error number 14 in SQL Server, which is named pipes provider could not open connection to SQL Server. This type of error occur when we try to connect SQL Server into the Visual Studio 2012. Let's see how to fix this type of problem. First, start, then run, type control, and click on OK. The control panel item will be displayed here. Here you can see the firewall option. Click on firewall. The firewall setting dialog box will be displayed. Here you can see the turn Windows firewall on or off. Click on it. The customized setting dialog box will be displayed. Here there are two sections private networking section and public networking section. We must turn off Windows firewall in both section, private section as well as public section. Then click on OK. Now look at your SQL Server setup file and double click it. The windows extract the file from the setup. After extracting, the SQL Server installation center wizard will be displayed. Here you can see the installation option. Click on install. In installation wizard, click on new SQL Server standalone installation. And in this step, just click on OK. Again, click on install. This is very important step here. You must ensure that there is no warning and no alert message, especially in Windows firewall section. After this, click on next. Select perform a new installation of SQL Server 2008. Next. Click on next. Click on next. Check the I accept the license terms, then click on next. Click on select all button, then click on next. In this step, select the default instance, click on next. Again, click on next. In this step, we click on use same account for all SQL server services button. The account dialog box will be displayed. Here you can select anti authority system and leave the password blank and click on OK. Select the Windows authentication mode. After selecting this, click on add current user button. Then click on next. Again, click on next button again click on next click on install after few minutes this installation wizard will be completed then click on next here you can see the your sql server 2008 installation completely successfully and click on close now start your microsoft visual studio to test your SQL Server connectivity, click on View, then SQL Server. Here you can see the Server Explorer dialog box will be displayed. Right click on Data Connection, and here you can see Add Connection option. Click on Add Connection, enter your server name like localhost slash SQL Express. Select the Windows authentication and from this dialog box, drop down box, select your database and then click on test connection. If test connection succeed, message box will be displayed. It means your SQL server working properly. If you like this video, kindly share it and subscribe us. Thank you for watching.